Hey everybody! Um, today I sat down to make some uh, bean burritos, bean and cheese burritos, and I thought I would show you how to do it in case you're interested. Um, I usually freeze these and then we just pull them out as we need them and just pop them in the microwave and they're a lot better than like the frozen ones that you get and they really don't take a whole lot of time. Um, I did or I was using canned refried beans and I found a recipe on Pinterest and um, I have not told you about this yet but I guess I will now. I did get a crock pot and um, I will be doing a couple of recipes in that just to kind of show you uh, my, ex my new experience with that. So, And this was a good experience. Um, I found a recipe for how to make your own refried beans in the crock pot and they turned out great. I mean absolutely perfect and they did not take hardly any effort to do it so I'm really really happy with that. But it made a ton. I used three cups of dry beans and I got a humongous, I mean there's cans and cans of the, I mean it would be like equal to probably, I don't know, six cans or seven maybe, or maybe more, I don't know. It's a lot of beans. But uh, anyway, so I will put the uh, recipe in the description box below if you want to check that out. And then, so all I have for this recipe is just the beans that I made and some shredded up, uh, this time I'm using Colby Jack Cheese. And I bought some tortillas. I actually got these from Central Market the other day. They're really good. And um, basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tortilla. I'm going to take maybe a quarter cup of beans or so. And just spread it down. These beans are cold too, so they're kind of thicker. But just put the cheese on top and then roll roll them, stick them on your, um, I like to use the plastic saran wrap, and then I just roll them up in the saran wrap, and stick them with the other ones, and then I think this is going to get me about 18, and then I put them, when I'm done rolling them all up, I put them in a uh, gallon size freezer bag, and I may actually have to have two, because normally I only make about 10 of these at a time, but... Anyway, so that's what I do. You put them in the freezer and they're ready to go. So it's super fast, easy, and tastes really good. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I will see you guys next time.